Welcome back to 40 Days of Prayer. We are nearing the end of this journey. But we walk into what has been for the church one of the times where it gathered together to worship every day throughout this period. We at Rejoice will gather together on Monday, Thursday, and Good Friday, and then we'll come back together on Easter. But I'm going to show you a pattern of Monday, Thursday, Good Friday, the Saturday before Easter, where there would be a vigil, and then the worship on Easter morning. Kind of a, a monastic way of looking at this, but we're going to go into uh, Monday, Thursday today. So Monday, Thursday begins this kind of climax of our year. Monday, Thursday brings together several different themes in the midst of it. So um, we'll hear, hear a reading from Exodus uh, chapter 12 where the Passover of the Lord is instituted because it is at the Passover where Jesus is gathered with his disciples around the table. And so we hear the beginning of that story that the story of the Last Supper is introduced into. Um, psalm 116 would be the psalm for today. Um, again, I will lift the cup of salvation, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. The reading for, uh, from the uh, New Testament this day would be from 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 23 through 26, where the Apostle Paul narrates to the Corinthian church the tradition he received about the Lord's Supper. Now, we often read, and, and we will at our worship on Thursday night, the narrative in the Gospel of Luke about the Lord's Supper. But there's also the option of doing a reading from John 13 where Jesus washes the disciples' feet and gives them the commandments to love one another. So our prayer for this night is this. Holy God, source of all love, on the night of his betrayal, Jesus gave a new commandment to love one another as he loves us. Write this commandment in our hearts and give us all the will to serve others as he was the servant of all. Your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. On this night, we mark what we celebrate every Sunday in worship. The, we mark the beginning of Jesus sharing with his disciples the bread and the wine. And as we, we believe, you know, he shares his very self with them. And so we come together and we remember how on the night in which he was betrayed, how our Lord Jesus shared a meal with those who were closest to him, with those who he loved. And he continues to share that meal with us. I'll see you tomorrow for Good Friday.